Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you? Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't, please do. And don't forget to share my channel with your friends. I really, really would love to get my subscribers up. So anyhow, it would be greatly appreciated. So today, because it's such a beautiful day outside, I thought I want to do something really summery um, in the way of crafting. And I'm sort of thinking about now what I can put into my pots and things in the garden and to brighten it up a little bit. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm in yellow today. Why don't I do a bee themed um, plant pot? So I've got here, um, it's like a noodle, well this is katsu kobe, you can get noodles um, and you just add water into it and it's done. But I've got two of these and I've taken the um, cardboard label off and underneath you get a pure white container, which is brilliant. And I thought these would make great planters for the garden. So to make them into bees, I need to paint them. Now, if I was using acrylic, I would um, mask off part of it and then paint the top bit yellow and the bottom bit yellow and then the middle bit black. Now I'm still gonna do that color theme, but I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I've got some yellow spray, much easier. So I'm gonna spray all of it yellow to begin with and then I'm gonna go back and then put my black stripe on just for speed and ease really. And then I'm gonna make some wings and the wings will be a milk carton container. This has still got milk in at the moment. Hubby needs to drink it very quickly um, so I can have that container or find one out of my recycling. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll go away and paint these and then I'll come back and I'll show you them. All right. Right, so my pots are now dry. You can see those. So what I need to do now is put some black stripes on. So I'm going to put one down here and then one in the middle on both of these. So while I was painting those, I actually found a jar in the garage as well, which I've just sprayed yellow, and I've sprayed the top of the jar black, the lid. And I'm going to put a little black stripe on this as well. So it'll uh, be used to keep my seeds and things in, in my new tidied up greenhouse to make it all match in with my beautiful bee pots. Okay, so I'll do the black stripe first of all and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the wings for it, okay? Right, so you can see my pot's drying to the side me. Now I've also got these uh, milk bottle lids, which I'm just going to paint black as well. So I need to leave all that to dry. So while that's drying, let's start making some bee wings. Right, so I've got my old milk carton here. And the reason I'm using this is because it's plastic and this is gonna go outside. So I didn't want my wings to be of cardboard or anything like that, because otherwise they're just gonna fall apart. Now, I'm just looking at the carton and you can see there are some natural sort of bends in it. Uh, but one side you'll see has two pints, three pints, one pint on it. So I want to try and avoid that if I possibly can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my first wing Oops, onto here, like so. Oops. I'm just get my pot and be careful it's still wet, and I think that. It plenty. So I'm going to cut that one out first and then I'm going to use that as a template for my other wings. Right, so I've got my four wings there and what I want is two slightly smaller. So I've got here a two pint carton. So I'm just going to cut out some smaller wings. That's my first template and then we'll get on and do the rest. Okay, so what you should see is I've got four large wings and four small ones. I couldn't get rid of the pint, I needed plastic, but it's okay because you won't see it if I strategically place my wings in the right way. So they're my wings, but now I need some antennae, so again I need to use my plastic. It's a bit wet here. Right, okay, so Obviously for your antennae, you're going to need two. 
So I'm just going to do like so. Just give it a rounded end like that. And then use that as my template to cut out a few more. Right, so what I'm going to do is spray these black and then I'll put some black spray on the large and some yellow spray on the small and we'll build it up. Right, okay, so my pots are dry, okay. Um, not exactly straight as I'd like them, but freestyle is the best I could do, but it'll still look cute. So I've also now sprayed my wings. So I've got four black, four yellow, I've got my antennas, and I've got my little head there. All right, so I can now start building this up. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is glue antennas onto my little heads. So I need to make sure I've got the right way around. I did spray them the right way, there we go. So that should be there, perfect. So I'm just going to yeah, pop a bit of glue on both these and just pop it just at the very top, like so. Okay, and I'll do the same with the other one. Okay. And then get rid of the stringy glue, which drives me crackers. I don't know about you. There you go. Okay. So put it to one side for now. And then I'll get my first pot. And I'm going to place my head about there, I think. So I'm just going to pop some glue around the edge. just place it on the top like so okay so that's the first one and do the same with the second one so just show you they're just popping glue right around the edge okay. and placing it on that to dry for a minute right and then for the wings you need one black and one yellow okay and what I'm going to do is glue the yellow on top of the black first of all just at the bottom Place them. So up there. Just going to pop some glue in the middle, quite thick, because you want both sides to join. And just pop it like so. And there's my first bee. So let me do the second one. What do you think of them? They're quite cute and I can't wait for my seeds to arrive so that I can actually use them in my greenhouse. What I may do um, if I don't use them as the, um, inside, the outside of a pot, um, so what I mean by that is I'll use a normal plant pot with holes already in it and then use that to keep the water to keep my plants moist.
if I decide that I need that actually as the main pot I will poke some holes into the bottom so that the um, water can come out um, but I think they'll look quite sweet and quirky in my greenhouse once my seeds gone so it's quite exciting it's good to have a bit of colour this time of year so guys if you did enjoy that don't forget to subscribe for notifications and give me a thumbs up and please share as well i'd love to get my subscribers up all right guys i'll see you in my next video take care and i'll see you soon bye bye